If you want something you never had, you got to do something which you have never done. Are you prepared to leave your comfort zone? Hi, this is Vasudevan, author of Follow Your Heart, Your Brain is Stupid. This channel is dedicated to those who wish to take charge and to create for themselves a life of freedom, joy and happiness. We feature snippets, interviews and stories which you can relate to, introspect and take action to create the life that you desire. Life starts at the end of your comfort zone. The only thing that's stopping you going from where you are to where you want to go is your inability to break out of your comfort zone. Watch this video till the very end to understand why it is so important to shed your fears in order to realize your true potential. Watch till the very end. There was a king who was gifted two beautiful falcon birds. They were peregrine falcons and they were absolutely magnificent birds. The, the king was extremely happy to receive them. He caught, called the chief falconer who is the trainer of the birds and handed over the birds to him for training. A month passed by and the falconer reported to the king and said, Your Highness, of the two birds, one of them is flying high and magnificently and it is responding to my training extremely well. However, the other bird has not left the perch from the day it came. It just is not responding to all my efforts to train. It just doesn't want to fly. And I've tried my best. So the king was wondering what should what should I do? So he called the sorcerers, the doctors, the healers and everyone and then explained the problem to them. Those people started trying. Next couple of days they were trying. And each day the king would peep out of his palace uh, window and would be disappointed to see that bird still sitting perched on that same branch. After that, these guys gave up. And then the thought occurred to the king. He said, maybe I should try to get somebody from the countryside, somebody who is more familiar with the countryside. He will be able to understand what is the real problem. So he called his minister and asked him to go and get a farmer from the countryside. The minister went got hold of a farmer and brought him to the king. The king explained the problem to the farmer. He, he told him that, see, uh, it's been about almost one and a half months now. One of the two birds is flying very well and the other, the other bird is just not moving. It's just not, not flown till now. Can you see what you can do about it? So the, the farmer said, sure, your highness, and he set off to work. The next day, when the king looked out of his palace window, he was thrilled to see that falcon was flying high above the palace ground. His joy knew no bound. He was extremely happy. So he called the minister and said, can you call that farmer who is responsible for this absolute miracle? The farmer was summoned to the court and the king asked him, tell me, what did you do to make the falcon fly? We have been trying for the last one and a half months. All of us have tried all different strategies, but the falcon just wasn't ready to fly. So what did he do? The farmer humbly bowed down before the king and said, Your Highness, it was very easy. I just cut the branch on which the bird was sitting. That's all I did. Are you able to relate this story to our real life? This happens with most of us. There are two key lessons, two main lessons that you can get from this story, which are directly relatable to our lives. Lesson number one, we are all made to fly to realize our incredible potential as human beings. But most often we sit on our branches, clinging to the things that are familiar and comfortable to us. Lesson number two, the possibilities are endless, but for most of us, they remain undiscovered. We conform to the familiar, the comfortable and the mundane. So for most part, our lives are mediocre 
instead of exciting, thrilling and fulfilling. Learn to destroy the branch of fear you cling to and free yourself to the glory of light. Now, these are just two you know, lessons that I've shared. There, I'm, I'm sure there are many, many more lessons that one can uh, one can take out of this particular story. So if you guys have any other perspective, anything else you want to add, please do so in the comments. I would be happy. It will not only help me, it will also help the other viewers too. Before closing, I would like to leave you with a beautiful quote by none other than Albert Einstein, who says this, A ship is always safe at the shore, but that's not what it is built for. Let me repeat. A ship is always safe at the shore, but that's not what it's built for, right? The ship is meant to sail. And when it sails, it is subject to a lot of challenges. Now, this is what happens in our lives also. Because one of the primary reasons that keeps us in our comfort zone is the work of our brain. The brain will always try to stop you from doing anything that you that is it's unfamiliar with. Anything new, it will create fear within, within you. It will create uh, that anxiety, the stress because it does not want your life to change. The brain is meant to protect you. That's its primary job. It's a survival mechanism. And that's why it orchestrates things and create a situation whereby you will feel, no, I don't think I should take that decision. I should not take that risk. It's too risky. Uh, anything can happen. I might lose my job, whatever. And as a result, what happens is our life doesn't change at all. We don't want to shift from the house that we are staying. We are staying. We don't want to shift from the the city that we have grown up. We don't. We in fact we follow the same route to the office every day, right? Because we don't even want to try changing that route. At home also, we tend to sit at the same place on the dining table. All of us. We do things the same way because we are comfortable. We don't want change. You know, the human brain will always resist change. And that's why it will keep us in the comfort zone. And that is the reason for most of us, the life remains the same. There's nothing changes in life. Only the, the situations will change, right? As we grow old, but uh, in reality, nothing has changed. Nothing changes in our life. So it's very, very important to understand this perspective. You've got to get out of that comfort zone. Only then the real, your real life starts. Your real, you know, achievements will start when you leave your comfort zone. Right? Guys, if you like this episode, if you, if you got some value, do consider subscribing, liking and sharing this episode with others. It would help them. So with that, see you in the next. Bye for now. Take care.